Welcome everybody, today I would like to present our new product, the Beamline Adapter. Its purpose is to enable the combination of non-compatible lab equipment. It comes with a set of accessories to enable joining devices with different hole patterns and several screw and thread types. To give an example, I will connect this motorized linear stage from MyCos with a manual linear stage from Ovis. Actually, those devices are not compatible with each other. Our beamline adapter, however, enables the connection. It has two crosswise arranged long haul systems. Those allow to connect the MICOS stage with its M6 threads with the OS stage with its M4 threads. To do so, I place the adapter on top of the MICOS stage. Now one can see how the adapter can be bolted on the platform with the M6 screws directly. In this combination, no washers are required. The washers which are included in delivery are required for M3, M4 and M5 screws only. I place the screws and tighten them slightly first to allow the adapter to take the right position. Afterwards, I tighten all of them completely to generate a high stiffness of the connection. The OVIS stage also provides a squarish thread pattern, but in contrast to the MICO stage, it is equipped with M4 threads. So I use another beamline adapter and put it on top of the stage. Now the special washers for the M3 to M5 threads are required. Using M4 screws, the adapter can be fixated as seen before. Due to the long holes, the position of the washers can be adapted to the required thread position by simply pushing them to the right place. All square thread patterns with an edge length of 20 to 60 mm can be connected this way. As seen before, I tighten the screws slightly first until all screws are in position before I tighten the screws completely. Based on the precision of the washers, the beamline adapter aligns itself optimally. After all screws have been tightened properly, the two adapters need to be connected to each other. Therefore, I use the connection blocks which are included in the set and plug them in the first adapter. To achieve a high stiffness, I use four of them. The connection block screws are pointing outwards to make sure that they are accessible even when mounting large devices. The adapters can be connected in different orientations, each with 90 degree rotation, whatever the setup requires. To fixate the position, the connection block screws need to be tightened slightly to tension the connection blocks. The adapters can be disconnected by simply untighten the screws with just a few turns. Because of the high repeat accuracy, the adapters can be used as a quick release fastener as well. In an additional example, I want to connect this rotational stage from Ovis with the Micros Linear stage. The rotational stage is equipped with through holes for M4 screws. I already inserted the four screws here. Consequently, a beamline adapter is required with threaded sliding blocks which need to be inserted in the long holes. I just push them to the correct position to fit them to the hole pattern and subsequently I tighten the screws. As ever, the sliding blocks can be fitted to all squarish hole patterns from 20 to 60 mm edge length. In the scope of delivery, there are four sliding blocks with M3 and M4 threads and four sliding blocks with M5 and M6 threads respectively. Hence, there is the possibility to use all common types of screws. The beamline adapter itself and all the accessories consist of stainless steel. Therewith, they are appropriate for clean room and vacuum applications. 
After inserting the last screw, I tighten all of them again. From the back side, it becomes visible how the sliding blocks are located in the long holes. Both adapters can be connected as before according to the needs of the experiment and the screws can be tightened easily. Not only small parts but also large parts can be connected since the stiffness and the precision of the connection is excellent as shown in the last example. Here I know this system profile is screwed to a beamline adapter already with M6 screws. I just need to place it towards the other adapter and fix it by tightening the connection block screws.